Assalamualaikum and welcome dear students. This is your English teacher Kaisar Bashir. Dear students, in today's video, we will study a beautiful poem, My Mother at 66, which is written by one of India's foremost English poets, Kamala Das. But before I start today's video, I would like to tell you that this is the first poem of class 12th English textbook, Flamingo and the sixth poem of class 10th English textbook Tulip series. Let's get started. Dear students, My Mother at 66 is a short poem without a full stop. It's like a long sentence punctuated by commas. It revolves around the theme of aging. It's an emotional account of a mother's approaching death through the lenses of a daughter. Now, dear students, let's do the reading of the poem. Driving from my parents' home to coaching last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me. Those open mouth, her face ashen like that of a corpse, and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting, the many children spilling out of their homes. But after the airport's security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her, warm, pale as a late winter's moon, and felt that old family act, my childhood's fear, but all I said was, See you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. Dear students, let me now give you the meaning of difficult words. So the first word is beside. It means near, right? We have another word like besides. Beside, besides. There's a difference between the two words. Beside means near. Besides means in addition to. Come and sit beside me. Okay? It means come and sit near me. Another word is uh, besides principal. There are 25 teachers in the school. Okay? So in this sentence, it means in addition to principal, there are 25 staff members in the school. Right? Uh, dear students, we have another word uh, that is those. It means a short light sleep. Okay? Uh, we have another word that is corpse. It means a dead body. Okay. Pain means ache. Put away means to discard, to renounce. Sprinting means running past. Okay. Sippling out means rushing out or moving out. Check means frisking. Uh, there's another word with the same spelling. Uh, it, uh, for example, check, C-H-E-C-K, check. Uh, the meaning of that word is to stop, okay? And then there is another word, worn. It means pale, okay? And then there is another word, ache. It means pain. Dear students, let me now interpret the poem to you. Driving from my parents' home to coaching last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me, those open mouth, her face ashen like that of a corpse. The students in these lines, the speaker of the poem or the poet tells us that she drove from her parents' home to Cochin Airport last Friday morning and her mother was sitting near her in a vehicle. She was sleeping. Her mouth was uh, wide open. As the poet sees her, her mother looks pale, colorless like that of a dead body. This is why the poet has compared her mother's face to that of a corpse. Uh, she has used here a poetic technique called simile. Okay, simile is actually a comparison between two dissimilar objects having at least one quality similar. As you can see, the poet compares her mother's face to that of a corpse. So the two uh, dissimilar objects are the uh, our entities are mother's face and a corpse. They are dissimilar but their quality is similar. That is 
both are looking pale both are pale both are colorless right and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting the merry children spilling out of their homes now the poet is content that her mother is old she is weak she is looking pale now in order to divert her attention from this scene from her mother's face she looks out of the uh, window of the vehicle okay and what does she find she finds as if the trees are running past okay the young trees uh, are sprinting the trees are running past and the merry children and the happy children okay are spilling out of their homes homes they are coming out they are rushing out of their homes the poet has used uh, two uh, words here young trees and the merry children in contrast to her uh, mother's old pale face here the poet has actually juxtaposed two states of a human being's life first is the childhood which is quite uh, you know for example pleasant to everyone which is a, uh, a stage when everyone is happy go lucky when everyone uh, is free of concerns and then the old age it is that stage when a man or a human being is full of concerns full of problems full of so many issues full of so many difficulties okay here the poet has juxtaposed what the childhood youth with that of what with that of old age but after the airport security check standing a few yards away i looked again at her worn pale as a late winter's moon and felt that old family ache my childhood's fear dear students in these lines the poet tells us that after her luggage or baggage was checked uh, by the security personnel at the airport uh, she looks again at her mother who was standing at some distance and what does she see she sees that her mother is looking pale she is looking weak okay she is looking colorless that's why she compares her face to what to late winter's moon as you can see in winter the moon is also looking weak she is looking pale she is not looking bright okay so once again if if we take the uh, uh, word winter into consideration this is the uh, indication of uh, the last stage of uh, men's or a human being's life once again it's reminded that the um, uh, old woman is approaching death she is nearing death okay then the poet is reminded of a certain uh you know feeling a certain experience uh, which she would feel when she was a child what is the experience it's actually the fear that she might lose her mother right but all i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile and smile and smile the students in these lines the poet tells us that she could uh, do nothing she was helpless but she had uh, only one option that is to say see you soon amma it was a, a sort of hope it was a sort of optimism okay all i did was smile and smile and smile the poet actually uh, was feeling uh, pain in her heart but in order to hide that pain in order to uh, you know for example hide that agony that she was undergoing okay she tried to pretend smiling dear students after reading the poem we get an idea that this poem is about aging and a warm relationship that exists between children and parents it also gives us an idea that parents are precious gifts from god so children should take do care of their parents because it is their responsibility right so with this we come to the end of today's lecture stay blessed Thank you.